Thanks very much. See, most places that we play, uh, they've got a roof on. If they haven't got the roof on, they've got a strong sun. See, so by this point in the show, I've usually taken off all my top garments. But I'm freezing here. It's nice to freeze the tits of a monkey, isn't it? It's a song by the Pixies. Fifteen people. Come to my room. Thank you. Thanks very much. I'll keep hopping to keep warm. How are you doing, all right? Is, uh, was this was this a good evening for us to drop round? I didn't I didn't know whether you'd be in. So you've got to be careful of tours because they can get a bit Groundhog Day if you're not careful. So we keep changing the numbers around. So we we'll new ones. Hope you don't mind that. Oh, yeah, I've got some oldies as well. So. First, first we got a new song. This one's called... Well, another new song, because we just did a new song, didn't we? See, I've got to keep my mind active. Being a, what is it, Wednesday? I don't know. This one's called Looking for Water. Stupendous. Stunty finding me good. Grandly impressive. Right, really, really good. I'm going to do this one for you. I thought tonight we'd do it in Chinese. I'm much better at Mandarin than I am at Cantonese. And I know it's the real feel of you that you can get a second line as well. So, Santa Barbara if to sing along with us. Not so years ago when I came to America for the first time, to my little radio store. See, there was a time when um, I used to have songs played on the radio. And the first one that I ever heard was I was driving in somebody's car. It was uh, actually in California. And uh, this song came on the radio. I was, I was so thrilled. We are on the radio! Fantastic feeling. Uh, and it was very exciting because it was the start of a whole kind of, you know, a love affair with America from that moment. Well, actually, I feel in love before. Then I fell out of love, falling. You know, you end up giving it some money and then you're back to go with it. You know it goes. Anyway, I'd like to do that. I'd like to do that song. Why not for the folks? It's from an album and it's the title song from the album, The Man Who Sold the World. This 
song's kind of fun. We just we just started doing this one the other week. Um, it come, I wrote this one when I was about three, four years old. Uh, actually, it feels like I was about 13 when I wrote it. The lyrics are divinely, sublimely stupid. Um, and it comes from having too many late nights out with a book on Nietzsche. And, and never opening it. It's called The Superman.